Hey Mario enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to discuss one very controversial topic while shining a light on the Mario movie and delve into the lesser known features, the mistakes that slipped out past our watchful eyes. Everyone makes mistakes, including Nintendo and Illumination, and we're here to uncover those hidden errors, continuity mistakes, and perhaps even a blooper or two. So let's journey into the world of Mario and explore the not so great moments of this film, shall we? Let's start off with with one very simple question. Who is Mario? Just a fair warning spoilers ahead. Okay, so in the film, the Toads have a very interesting reaction when they hear the name Mario. More precisely, they are worried when they hear that Mario didn't make it. But this doesn't make sense because let's be real, they had no idea who Mario is. There is no speech that introduced them before, so viewers were quite surprised by their reaction. I have to ask, did I miss something? Did I miss Mario's introduction? Let me know. Another question viewers had in mind while watching the film was one regarding Mario and Luigi's separation. Shortly after the beginning of the movie, Mario and Luigi end up in different places. The pipes in the Super Mario games play a big role, and they appear in the film in various shapes and sizes. Their only purpose is to transport characters from one place to another. That is also the case in this film, as both Mario and Luigi get into the same pipe and end up in different places. Here's my question, if Mario and Luigi went down the same pipe, weren't they supposed to end up in the same place? Isn't it weird that Mario ended up in the Mushroom Kingdom while his brother found himself in Bowser's clutches? What do you guys think about this? Okay, so is Super Mario predictable? This is not a mistake, it's more of an issue that a lot of critics pointed out. When creating plot twists, film creators try to be as original as possible, because let's face it, no one wants to watch a predictable film. According to most critics, that's exactly what Super Mario Bros. is, a nostalgic and predictable trip with plenty of Nintendo references. Even a lot of fans agree that the film was super predictable. This is because a lot of scenes follow the gameplay from different Mario games. Yeah, we all wanted to see Nintendo references, but not so many predictable storylines. Maybe the creators could have come up with something better, a more original story, don't you agree? But then again, this is a video game adaptation, so I don't know if it's fair to say that this is a predictable movie. If the creators ignored the source material, critics would have had other issues, and they would have claimed that the filmmakers didn't stay loyal to the games. What's your opinion about this? Next on our list is the Spike pizza mistake. In the Brooklyn Pizzeria, we meet Spike. Spike is an already familiar character that appears in some of the Super Mario games. In the film, he is the former boss of Mario and Luigi, and he is seen mocking them for attempting to open their own business. A great storyline because he is one of the villains in the games as well. Anyways, when Spike leaves the restaurant, you can see that he only ate one slice of pizza he ordered but he leaves a $100 bill. Okay, who the hell leaves $100 for a single pizza? You might find this funny, but I seriously think that this is a mistake because who wouldn't finish their pizza and pay $100 for it? Next on our list is the cages problem. This is not like the pizza situation. It's really a mistake, and a lot of fans agree that such a mistake shouldn't have occurred in a film like this. At one point in the film, Luigi and plenty of other characters are thrown into a lava prison shortly after they are captured by the infamous Super Mario villain Bowser. Luigi finds himself in one of the cages floating above the lava pit, and even though he's unable to escape because he's bigger than the spaces between the bars, other characters can easily escape, but they don't even try. The bars are not really that close to each other, and for instance, the blue Luma from Super Mario Galaxy was a perfect size and could have escaped Bowser's prison. Did you spot any of the mistakes we discussed so far? Before we continue, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay updated and all the things Mario, and join us for more intriguing discussions. We'll keep you entertained with our deep dives into your favorite films and games. Now let's continue exploring together. Again, I don't know if I would refer to the next thing as a mistake, and it's up to you to decide whether the missing characters thing was a mistake or not. Luckily, the filmmakers included as many familiar SM characters in one film as possible, from the entire Donkey Kong family to Major Pauline and even the aforementioned Spike. Almost everyone was there. But yeah, some important characters were nowhere to be found in the movie. 
For instance, we didn't see Wario or Waligi. Not only were they nowhere to be found, but they were also not mentioned at all. Yoshi, another essential character of the game franchise, only appeared in the background for a quick second and shortly during the end credit scene. I understand the creators plan to make more Super Mario films, maybe even a Super Mario cinematic universe, and thus introduce the rest of the characters, but a lot of critics were bothered by the fact that these characters had no influence on the plot of the film, and yeah, a lot of fans think it would have been better to see more characters in the movie. But again, I don't know if I would put this in the mistake category, would you? But how did Mario and Luigi know where to go? So when Luigi gets a call for a job and quickly accepts to go there, they quickly go out and pop into their van. Then they drive fast to the place. The big question is, how the hell did they know which direction to go? Luigi didn't ask for directions, right? And it's weird that Luigi hangs up on the lady before she told them where to go. During the same scene, the two also say that they are running out of time. But why? They are, after all, going to fix some pipes. Will the pipes disappear? I find this scene a bit weird. Another mistake in the film is linked to Princess Peach's origin. Where did Princess Peach come from? The Mushroom Kingdom and the humans that live in it have been long discussing this subject because we know how Mario and Luigi come to the place. But what about the rest of the humans? Brooklyn is Mario and Luigi's home in the Super Mario Bros. movie. Brooklyn was their home in the 93 live-action movie. Movie, but the two movies failed to address how Peach became the princess of a bunch of toads. This is a really big question to which we might never get an answer. In the recent film, it's mentioned that Peach came to the Mushroom Kingdom via a pipe as a baby, but where did she come from? Why was she transported as a baby? So many questions, so many theories, and just one film. And last but not least, we'll discuss the many, many Easter eggs. According to some fans, including so many Easter eggs, Nintendo references and nods was a big mistake. Shortly after the film was released, a lot of critics said that the biggest issue with the project is that Super Mario Bros. movie is overstimulating. Some people were even bothered by the flashiness of the movie. The reason why the film was so bright was that children love seeing bright and different colors. The reason the creators included so many Easter eggs was that they wanted to attract a larger audience of all ages. The creators worked smart because at the moment, Super Mario Bros. is the highest grossing film of 2023. And that is a wrap for today's video, fellas. That's our exploration of the mistakes and blunders of the Mario movie. We hope you had a blast discovering these not-so-obvious slip-ups and goofs with us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll never miss out on our upcoming videos.